After many months of protesting peacefully, SCLC leader James Bevel, among others, felt that a children's crusade might turn the tides of the civil rights movement in Birmingham. So on May 2nd, they left the 16th Street Baptist Church and went on marching throughout the city peacefully. Protesters are met with a hostile response by the police department. On the first day, hundreds of children were arrested and put in jail. Even with these setbacks, the marches continued on the next day. These marches were met with a well-known response of fire hoses and attack dogs. Commissioner of Public Safety, Eugene, aka Bull Connor, was the one who ordered the police to do so. the fire hoses were so strong that even the firemen using them were injured by the high power water jet. This was the turning point of the civil rights movement as it brought national attention to the situation, allowing major figures such as John F. Kennedy to acknowledge the situation and put an end to it.